Good day everyone. It is an honor to virtual paint through the House of Padma Shri Awardee. I have never witnessed an awardee of a national importance. On behalf of IIHM Jaipur, we thank Mr. Sapn Guha who has given his precious time to us, the, the students and shared his journey as an awardee as well as an entrepreneur. I, Umesh Saini, a budding entrepreneur is absolutely thrilled to witness the incident which is going to take place within few minutes. Ma'am and my colleagues in the ground field will be formally introducing him and will take us through the lens of his journey. Thank you. Good day everybody. It's a matter of great privilege for me and the IGM team to interface today with one of the luminaries of Jaipur's entrepreneurial world Padma Shri Shri Shapan Guha. For those associated with ceramics and pottery, his name requires no introduction. For the rest of us, the name will resonate after I play out a brief introduction. Mr. Guha is a Padma Shri, a national award winner. He is the former president of the Indian Ceramic Society and is the founder chairman of the Jaipur chapter. He is the founding member of several ceramic societies. Now over to our wannabe entrepreneurs from IHN, Mr. Roshan Parvani and Mr. Deepak Rathor, who I'm sure have lined up a lot of questions. Over to Roshan and Deepak. It's an honor for us to even capture ourselves in the same frame with our legendary Padma Shri, Shapan Sir. Sir, at what point of your career did you discover about pottery and how did you decide to make a career in it? I was born in ceramic tabular when I was a child. Uh, especially during our lunch time, dinner time, when we used to be together. We are not talking with any cricket games or football games. Rather, we are talking about ceramic raw materials ceramic chemicals, ceramic colors, ceramic tableware, ceramic sandyware, ceramic insulator, and ceramic tiles. So that way you can see uh, during schooling time, uh, I was uh, passionate towards ceramics because of uh, uh, genetic reason also. Okay. I know Bengalis love their fish curries. So, what is your favorite food? I was young. That time I was fond of mutton curry. I could take that time 500 grams of mutton at a time. Okay. Now I am not liking mutton curry because I am getting some smell because of my age. Okay. He migrated to Calcutta 40 years back. Uh, Every day morning, they used to go to market. That is their culture, our culture. Our, of course, I am also Bengali. Uh, and first, and whatever money, you know, 70% they used to spend for fish, remaining 30% for vegetables. Am I right? Hmm? And fish, when I came to Jaipur, I was missing fish and some typical vegetable which was not available during that time. Whenever I used to go to Delhi, there is one place called Chittaranjan Das. He was a freedom fighter, he was the famous barrister. Uh, the CR Park, I, there is a market. I used to purchase a lot of fish from Delhi. Uh, now one day, I thought, why not in Calcutta, uh, Jaipur? Then now there is a market, Bengali fish market. And of course, initially they face a lot of problems from municipality, from police. I told them, you keep it my number. If municipality people and police came for bribe, you just give me call and you just uh, tell them, you talk with Mr. Guha. That way, that way, one day I thought, 
uh, I invited that during that time uh, bureaucrats, Bengalis in my house for dinner. Uh, one uh, Mr. Mm. So many, Mr. Mukherjee, Mr. Chatterjee, there are so many people, IPS also, and IRS also. And then I requested them, how is the fish? Well, it's a beautiful pavda. From where you are getting? Of course, you are taking from India, no? Uh, we are arranging here, but the problem is, police is unnecessary there, harassing is poor people and corporation uh, mutual people also. Then they help them. Now that market, one market is fish market, no, fish market, one vegetable market. They started their activities. Now everything is available here. So of course, fish is our favorite dish. So how did you feel when you were awarded with the Padmashree award? Oh, yes. Very good question. Actually, um, in the year of nine, 2011, I was about to get Padmasri Award. That was my mistake. I could not communicate it. And they sent the letter I could not receive. And um, one day, 2012, that is the month of January, no, month of January, yes, month of December. That day I was going to one, my, my own factory, Opal Service Private Limited, from another factory. You take rest, I'll drive. Because, and while driving, suddenly I got a call from Dr. Professor R. Chidambaran. Support for Dr. Chidambaran Mulaya. He is the chairman of this award committee. And every year he is to nominate one person. Becoming an entrepreneur requires a lot of courage and vision. So how did you bring yourself as an entrepreneur? I thought this used actually around uh, 1800 work Everything I am monitoring, why not develop a ceramic color factory? in Rajasthan. I got the factory. Then this factory, then I have given name Hope Well, H-O-P-E, Hope Well Ceramics Private Limited. And two directors, uh, Sharad Babu was chairman, I was the MD. Then we started ceramic color meeting. Sir, uh, what is your message to us as a youngsters who want to develop their entrepreneurial skills? See, initially I should suggest you join somewhere first. Take some practical experience. So you should take the exposure from some star hotel, 